I am so excited about today's video because we are turning up the sexiness factor like all the way up, like all the way up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlene, for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers, Thank you, thank you so much for coming back for another video. I have two new fragrances added to my beautiful collection that I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to talk to you guys about them. We are in the M Club today, y'all. So we're talking about Instant Crush by Mansara over here. And we're talking about Replica Jazz Club by Maison Margiela. I have a lot to share, so let's just get straight into it because I'm super excited. Jazz Club by Maison Margiela in the replica line. I've talked about fragrance names that do not match the juice. I feel like Jazz Club is one of those fragrances that is aptly named. It is perfectly named and I'll tell you why. But before I get into the details, let me show you the bottle. So this is Replica Jazz Club by Maison Margiela. Look at that juice, y'all. I'm very familiar with this fragrance because I have sniffed it a lot right along with by the fireplace which i still still want to add to my collection both fragrances are basically an early christmas gift but if anybody knows me i'm not gonna wait till christmas to open fragrances because i have to talk about it and i have to try them on and i have to wear them you know so i like a lot of fragrances by maison margiela till now i did not own any single fragrance from that line but I finally have this one. So just by sniffing it in the store, testing it out on the scent card, I liked it. I thought it was very interesting. Y'all, this is an amazing scent. I will insert the notes here for you guys while I talk about it because I do not want to go in all the details of the notes. When I wear this fragrance, I do have it right here on my skin. This is very well known for the rum and the tobacco. At least that's what I've heard a lot of people talk about. The cigar-like feel to it. And I will say that the cigarette cigar aspect, the tobacco does not hit my nose as strongly. To me, I feel like the rum and the tobacco have a great balance. And of course, the other notes in there definitely um, contribute to what the juice is in this bottle. But I feel like it is, just imagine entering a jazz club, literally, and the lights are softly lit, like it's very dim, and you have nice, just fancy music with the rich guys, you know, in the corner, probably the VIP section, you know. They smell expensive from like really expensive cologne, mixed with whatever they're drinking and of course mixed with whatever they're smoking it is it is a very sexy i feel like daring fragrance if you look right here it is advertised as a male fragrance um i will say that this to me is perfectly perfectly unisex because on my skin I don't find it to be overly masculine at all. And it's not too much on the feminine side either. It's just like right in the middle, perfectly in the middle. The no composition definitely gives it an extra kick and makes it very edgy, very daring, but also very smooth. I find this on my skin to be extremely smooth. I feel like I could smell this on a guy and feel like he's like, oh my gosh, like almost irresistible. And I feel like a guy could smell this on me once it's dried down and really settled into my skin, like really like exhilarating and sexy. Um, that's just my take on it. My friend Monique is obsessed with this fragrance. I wouldn't say I am as obsessed as she is, but I do enjoy this so, so much. Try it out. See how it develops on your skin and you will most likely not regret it. This is beautiful. So this definitely gives me a range of emotions. I feel like I put it on and it's like I, I want to party all night. <laughs> I want to dance all night, you know, and just enjoy the ambience of just like the nightlife. Definitely gives me that vibe. To my nose, this definitely has a hint of sweetness as well. 
And that makes me like it even more because vanilla is right up my alley. So of course I'm gonna like really kind of like detect it amongst all the other notes. It's not like at the forefront at all, but it's there in the background. I think I've raved enough about this. I really enjoy it. Before the end of 2021, I'm definitely gonna add By The Fireplace to my collection because I've wanted it for so long. I don't know what's been keeping me. But again, like I said, this was a Christmas gift and boy, a perfect one. So yeah. Right. Next up, we have Instant Crush by Mancera. And this is the gold box is like, everything the packaging is everything this is also going to be my first fragrance from the house of mancera paris i do own one of my favorite fragrances intense cafe which is by montal a sister company to mancera i think it's a whole family vibe if i'm not mistaken so instant crush i've heard so much talk about this one i love the bottle i've been obsessed wanting it but the price tag is uh yeah I really love and enjoy Jazz Club. I'm literally obsessed with Mansara's Instant Crush. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love the bags. Uh, Montal is pretty similar as well. It comes in a nice cute bag, just the whole vibe. Everything matches what the box kind of like indicates. And then you open it up, pull out that beauty, that beauty. Oh, guys. Guys, 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 do you see what I see? Do you see it? I mean, this is luxury in a bottle. They put so much care and detail into this packaging, in my opinion. I find it to be extremely opulent and luxe. I just love it. The cap, ooh, the cap is very magnetic. It gets a 10 from me. It gets a 10 out of 10 for packaging. And I smell this. I have to say that there's a certain kind of like DNA kind of style that you get from the Mancera and the Montal fragrances that is not lost here. It's very present. You almost know that it's a Mancera slash Montal fragrance. It is so beautiful. The composition on this is insane. To me, this is flirty. This is irresistible. This is sexy. Oh, guys, <laughs> it smells so good. Let's talk longevity on this one. This one is very long lasting, like beast mode performance on this one. On my skin it lasts much longer on my skin than the jazz club for instance i wore it yesterday into the morning today i was still smelling it and i i just think the performance is absolutely amazing so this is advertised as unisex and because of those contrasting notes in it i i guess i can see why but i feel like it leans a little bit more feminine if i'm being honest definitely leans a little more feminine while i feel like jazz club is utterly like absolutely unisex even if it's advertised as a male fragrance this one on the other hand is advertised as unisex but leans more feminine just so you know i could definitely see a guy pulling it off with absolutely no issues whatsoever and the sprayer is beautiful i'm not spraying much because girl this is like ten dollars for spray so it's really bright when you spray it. There's just so many notes hitting you at the same time. It's sweet, it's bright, but it also has an intensity like right there instantly. Oh, so good. I am literally obsessed with this and the packaging. Ah! If you haven't tried any fragrances from Mansara, Definitely try Instant Crush. This one is worth the money on so many levels. I mean, you get a fragrance that will last on you. So, I mean, that alone is reason enough to get it. You get a fragrance that is fun and sexy and flirty and irresistible. Love this one. So this is the second one added to my collection. This is Instant Crush by Mansara. I am literally in love. Like, I feel like I'm cheating on my other fragrances, but it's okay. They will not mind because they're all going to be in the beautiful casing all together. <laughs> so that is it for my latest acquisitions. 
so beautiful so very different but amazing in their own way Ugh. Jazz Club though. Ooh. An instant crush is just like, yes, yes, yes. Give me more. I love these. So, so do you guys own any of these fragrances or any from the Mancera line or any from the Maison Margiela line? Join the conversation. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.